It's just one of these shows where they send around somebody to life coach people whose lives aren't going very like Super Nanny, right? Where the Super Nanny walks in and goes to the child, now you can't do that, and does the parent. Listen to how the child is responding to the tone of my voice. And you go, no, it's not. It's responding to the fact that you're a big stranger in the house <laughs> with a camera crew shouting at it. <laughs> and the kids go, Jesus, who the fuck is this woman? Right? <laughs> Or that one, or that one on Channel 4, that hideous wench, that cow, McKeith. <laughs> are you familiar with You Are What You Eat, my friend? It's an incredible television show, hosted by a whiny, naggy, bony, seed pimp bitch. <laughs> who goes onto the homes of morbidly obese people. Who we are introduced to in a slow motion video package where they are pictured walking across uneven ground <laughs> or on a rope ladder of some description. <laughs> Something hideously unflattering. And then Gillian, as their visual, shows them a table of all the food they've eaten in the last week. A table heaving, creaking, groaning under the weight of pies and curries and chips and beer. And Gillian points to the table and goes, Look at it! <laughs> Look at it! <laughs> this is what you ate in the last week. And the fat person looks at it. <laughs> and their face is a mixture of pride. <laughs> and lust. <laughs> As if, you know, did I eat all that? <laughs> I did it all again. <laughs> But they don't get to eat that. They get the next week's table, which is an empty table with an apple sitting in the middle of it. <laughs> and they don't even get the apple. They get to jump at the apple and it's lift slightly above them. Ah, give us the apple, you boy. <laughs> she nags them thin for six weeks. And that's not even the worst part of it, my friend. The worst part of it can be summed up with one word. What is that worst part of that show? <laughs> the poo. <laughs> they analyze their poo for no obvious diagnostic value <laughs> whatsoever. <laughs> Have we any doctors in the room tonight? <laughs> Few doctors around. Doctor, can you confirm to me, is there any value whatsoever diagnostically in examining these people's poo? <laughs> no, because we don't get any interesting results. We just get the woman coming back from the lab going, we've analysed your poo, it turns out you're eating too much. <laughs> And then she hides in their fridge for six weeks, and every time they want a snack, she comes out with icicles on her nose going, Nah, you can't have a snack! Close the door! <laughs> the bit that irritates me about is the bullshit science that she comes up with, though, because whatever there is a science to nutrition, there is technical information about you that, that needs to be get across. She just makes stuff up, I think. <laughs> She just there's some stuff about different vibrational energies for food and food of different colours and all this yada yada. She might as well just say eat broccoli, because in broccoli there live imps. They will climb out of the broccoli at night and mine the fat off your arse. <laughs> if you are what you eat, she's eating a feckin' shrew. <laughs> Hi, this is Dara Breen. This is my YouTube channel, so subscribe and like to get more funny clips.